Kariba Dam water level has been decreasing steadily because of droughts and low inflows from the Zambezi River and its tributaries. As of December 2021, the water levels at Kariba Dam decreased to 478.32 cubic meters while decreasing further in 2022 to 475.62 cubic meters. Above sea level, the level of usable water in Kariba, tapped by both Zambia and Zimbabwe, stands around 2.7% according to the Zambezi River Authority. With the water levels being low at the reservoir, what are the repercussions on the end users in industrial and household levels? If this uh, delay in the onset of the rainy season were to continue much further, uh, it could lead us to uh, move from the load management that we currently are doing. We might be forced to move to the next level which might go into load shedding. Wesley Rindi is ESCO Limited Director Power Generation, who outlines the alternative plans by the power utility company to service customers amid the current status quo. We are also embarking to, into other renewable sources of solar and wind in the long term. Uh, but for now, we are moving quite fast in terms of installation of solar. Kefas Museva is senior station manager at Kariba North Bank Power Station, who explained the transmission process of the in-house generated power. But due to the challenges that we have, we are only generating 120. But as the load is increasing, we are able to increase or bring in another, another machine. The Zambezi River Authority also gave an update on the maintenance and rehabilitation works being carried out at the Kariba Dam. The refurbishment of the six gates on the dam wall and changing the shape or reshaping of the 80 meter deep plunge pool to allow for quick dispersion of the water and energy downstream. If the water collection in the upper and lower catchment areas that feed into the Kariba Dam remains low, power generation will be affected, worsening the load management into a possible load shedding. Shem Malinda, Damon, Siavonga District.